The night had given us a fresh layer of snow. As I had my morning coffee, I was compelled to go for a walk and find some areas to stop, calm the mind, and contemplate gratitude. The snow had dusted my window boxes and bushes. They were so, so beautiful and a motivator to keep going. Walking further down, I stopped by our small streams. Thinking of the ebb and the flow of life, how some things can be frozen in time, while others push forward to stay in motion. I wasn't alone here. I knew that spirit was with me. And as I walked, I was surrounded by our lovely pine trees, holly, frozen pine cones that can still be foraged, and I instantly knew what I had to create today. Come join me as we make a beautiful, easy ice lanterns that are created with natural elements. So let's create our lantern. I think this is probably going to be the easiest DIY I've probably ever done on my channel. So it's nice that we do easy DIYs like this so I can do a couple more during the 12 days of Yule. And I'll get out a members only DIY out too before the first. So really all you need is the greens um try some artificial ones like we're kind of just playing around here right see what works what doesn't so that way when we do it in the future we can take note of what didn't work so i have pine i have fresh um dusty miller i have some of the forged pine cones that we got together some natural acorns and then i have some faux florals here to see how the faux flowers versus the natural greens react to being frozen and thawed out and things like that. Maybe you think that the faux ones are better. I think what I like to do with this lantern is keep it outside, especially now it's getting really, really cold. So this can stay kind of in its shape for some time. But if I'm doing any night rituals, drawing down the moon, maybe doing some full moon, new moon work outside, which in the winter time I still do. I really highly suggest that you still do outdoor rituals and spell work outside when you can, even if it's cold. I feel like sometimes the chill in the air kind of gets me more in tune with what I'm really trying to manifest during that time. So try it out and see what works for you. But just because it's cold doesn't mean I don't go outside to do spell work. And then the last thing we have, we have some, I have mica powder that I use for my shops. So I'm just going to take like, let's just take the cranberry one. Um, and let's take maybe a green one. Yeah, green pearl. And let's try to maybe color the water and see what kind of effects that have. So I'm doing this with you guys. I have no idea if this is even going to work. I've just kind of seen it bouncing around in Pinterest and wanted to try my hand at it. But definitely want to try different things to see the different results that we get. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab two containers and I'm going to do a few of them to see, you know, to get a little bit of a nice kind of layout going with my candles. So I have um, a bigger square jar, I have a smaller square jar and what you're going to want to do is grab your biggest vessel and you're going to want to have something in the middle. You don't want it to be too big because you really want to have some space for your flowers and your greens to, you know, kind of display nicely. And you don't want it to be too small because I think they're going to be swimming around and you do want to put a candle in here. So big enough to put like a small pillar, a like tea light candle and have something nice and substantial where you when you put it out, it's really, really nice for you to look at. Okay, so I think I'm going to try, let's try to do the bigger one with putting in our greens first. 
and then we will do the smaller one and put the water in first and see what that does for us. Does it help at all? So I think you're just going to want to pop these in here. Um, will these fit? Yeah, at the corners. These, this is nice because I feel like things like this will kind of hold down your greens. Um, let's just do one maybe across like that. Grab some pine cones, more greens. Let's see how the colored water does. So I love this one because the mic is really glittery and it's definitely safe um, for candles and things like that. So, um, you know, it's safe to burn basically. So we have like a really pretty green mica. Didn't fill it all the way up, up to the top because I am putting another glass in here. But I noticed that the glass is not as heavy as the last one. So we're going to need something to help us kind of hold that down. And I'm going to use some tape and just kind of help it stay down. Okay, and I think that should do the trick. It is um, a little bit easier than the other one to put these in because it's so tight in here. You can see like I'm really pushing it down tightly. It's not going anywhere. Um, like I said with the other one, and I think I mentioned that in the beginning of my video, is that the bigger the lantern and the more space that you have, even though, yes, it's beautiful and you can fit more things, it's re it starts swimming around there. And it's really hard to kind of get it all set. You might have to anchor it somehow inside of your freezer. Um, but yeah, this is really pretty. I'm loving this green. Okay, once your vessels have been freezing for about five hours, you're gonna wanna take them out and let them sit. I will say that there were cracks on the glass vessels. So if anyone is looking at this and going to try it, I definitely suggest doing either rubber or plastic because you can see here there's major cracks and that's definitely dangerous if you're doing with your kiddos. You can see in the back that there is a blow dryer. So you can definitely use that on low temperature and to get kind of that ice moving. And you can see here, it just pops out. The middle pieces pop out, but the actual vessels are the ones that had the issues with cracking. So once the water, once the ice starts melting a little bit, it's really, really easy to pop everything out. absolutely loved how these came out. I love the trapping of the greens. It worked very well with the faux florals. Some of the ice have small little cracks in them that just make it so magical, so special. And the green and red color ones are really nice. 
If you place your lantern on a nice piece of cloth, you can even bring it indoors. And that's about it. I really hope that you enjoyed this really easy DIY and are enjoying your Yule season. Thank you.